All right, we've got the under tray done. We've removed the rear bumper. We removed the inner liners on the inner fenders. Uh, this is like I said, spider. The coupe's going to be a little different on the inboard liners in there. Um, so now we're going to remove the challenge grill. Looks like there might be uh, 10 millimeter fasteners that hold this on. Looks like there might be two, one or two here, two here, two here, two here, one here, and one here. Um, and there may be another one in there or not. We'll look at that once we get this removed. So uh, we're going to start removing this. We're going to open this up, get some access from the top and the bottom. So uh, we're going to go ahead and remove that, and then once we have it off, I'll show you where all the fasteners are. All right? to this rear challenge grill. I would think that the solid panel is going to be similar. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to disconnect the lights too. Um, like back here, we're going to take these connectors off because we're going to take the light assemblies out with it. So, um, I mean, you can remove the lights, but we're just going to take it as one piece. So we're going to you know, take these connectors off here and then uh, that just snap off like that. You have to do the outboard side. And then it has two 10 millimeter here, two on this side. There's two here. There's another one, like I said, uh, let me point on the outside here. Um, it is about right here. And then you have one in this corner. The other side is going to be similar. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, remove those right now. And uh, I'll go back over them once we have it off. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue right, right now. All right, uh, we've got the grill removed. As you can see, uh, where it was fastened, there's two here, two here, one here, and one on the outside. Same on the other side. But there's, if you notice, these have shims. There was like four washers on each side. I put the nuts back on, kind of to hold them in place. One, one's still stuck on the car on the one side, but there is four shims there. And, uh, so, uh, and also the cable release, I believe it's for your fuel door, is right here. So there's like a little clip, you slide the cable out, and then it's slotted here to slide your cable out. So uh, we'll go over the other, the other side and show you what it looks like, what I'm talking about. And then uh, we had these wire harnesses here. This was here, it was connected also to one of the attach points. So you'll have to take, this was a 10 millimeter nut I had to take off. So that's just your uh, harness for your lights. But uh, here's your attach points here, 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 one here. And one of the shims is still stuck here. And then like I said, this cable was attached to it in that little bracket. So there's a little clip here you gotta pull. I used an awl just to pull it to the side and then fed it out. So don't forget to hook that back or disconnect that and pull that out. And uh, this was connected to it also with the nut to the one of the fasteners. So you'll need to dis disconnect that. But uh, that should be the removal of the challenge grill. Like I said, your standard grill should be the same um, attach points. So I don't think it should be any different. But uh, anyway, thanks.